Trading and Profit and Loss Account First, let us make an analogy with your everyday life to give you the ideas. You get a payslip. On this is marked your total payments, your total wage, your total income. Next, you have your total deductions. These deductions you cannot avoid and basically they are the same for everyone. When you have paid these you are left with your take home pay. Now enter the missus. She wants the housekeeping which could be any amount depending on her style of housekeeping careful law spendaholic. Finally what is left is for you. Your pocket money if you like. And this amount varies greatly according to the amount taken for housekeeping. Now let's relate the same ideas to a business. In business terms First comes what passed through your till in a year, your turnover, what you took in a year. We then have direct costs. These are necessary costs, without which the vehicle will not run, tyres being one example. If we take the turnover, then minus the direct costs, we get what is known as gross profit. Similar to take home pay, this is broadly the same for everyone. These three items, this sum, forms what is called the trading account. We now start again, but starting with gross profit. We then have the variable housekeeping element known as indirect costs. An example is buildings, which could be in a posh location or just simple. Finally, when we deduct our indirect costs from our gross profit, we get our net profit. This net profit may have to be adjusted later to fall within Revenue and Customs tax guidelines. These three items, this sum, forms what is called the profit and loss account. We now need to look at a formal layout. At the top we have the turnover for the year £150,000. Next we have the direct expenses of £60,000 which now include driver's wages, fuel and oil, repairs and maintenance, tyres and insurance and licences. Minusing the direct expenses of £60,000 from the turnover of £150,000 gives the gross profit of £90,000. Remember that this gross profit is broadly similar between equal businesses. All this forms the trading account. We start again with gross profit. Next we have indirect expenses of £10,000 
which include other salaries, not drivers, rent and council tax, heating and lighting, stationery and adverts, postage and phone, depreciation, bank charges, fines and accountants fees. Minusing the indirect expenses of £10,000 from the gross profit of £90,000 gives the non-adjusted net profit of £80,000. All this forms the profit and loss account. And of course, the whole thing taken together is the trading and profit and loss account.